Hello everyone, Debbie here from Lake House Tarot. I have been away for a long time. Work was crazy, I've been super sick, family stuff has been busy, but I'm back. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you guys today some beautiful Ferris Wheel Press inks that I just received and I'm super excited about these. Um, this collection for summertime, uh, it says that it's celebrating their New York, New York collection. And I, I love each one of these boxes and the design art, and I'm super excited to see what the ink looks like on these. So let's go ahead and just take a look here. Let's start with this one. This one is called Lights on Broadway. And this, if you take a look at the box here, it looks like the, um, the billing for the show they're gonna see says fall in love with writing again. I just love that box art. It's so beautiful. And it's got all the little animals going to the Broadway show. There they are waiting on the taxi to take them in. I just love this so much. <laughs> the next one is called Grand Central Skies. And it looks like on this one, they're waiting to go into the subway or they're down in the subway. Those big stairs that go down into Grand Central Station. I mean, this is just Beautiful, beautiful box art. Love this so much. And then the last one is called, oops, flip it over here, Central Park Greens. And I'm super excited for this one. Look at this, like out in the park there. It's just beautiful artwork on these boxes. I both love and hate the boxes. <laughs> I love them because they're so beautiful, but I hate to not display them, but I don't like to display them because they take up room. So it's a love-hate. Sometimes I leave them out, sometimes I don't. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these and get them swatched out here. Um, let me grab my swatch book. All right, so uh, let's pull this out of here. I've been, as normal, I've been keeping my swatches, uh, passport size, traveler's notebook. Let me pull this out of here. Get out of there. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Um, I don't know. We'll start here. So um, I'll just do, I don't think this is gonna be heavy enough to hold this down, but that's what I put it here for. It's not. All right, B, go back there. Anyway, let's start with this one. I can't wait for this one. Central Park Greens. Ooh, I hope it's true to that. This is beautiful. I've been in such a green mood lately. Um, super excited for this one. I don't, it doesn't look like it has any glitter in there. I've been away from even um, inks lately. Uh, inks and journaling. I haven't done any of that lately, so kind of excited to, um, which dip pen do I want to use? I don't know which one I like better. I'll try this one. So I haven't, um, haven't done any sort of journaling or, or anything lately. So excited to get back into this. Oh, I forgot about these little guys. Get out of there. And I was gonna keep this here for aesthetics. It's my Hobonichi drawer pouch, but I have not been doing very good lately with uh, not spilling things and I don't wanna mess that up. So let's just move it. Okay. So here we are. This one is the, what did I just say it was? Central Park Greens. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, wow, I love this. Oh my gosh, this is a perfect summer ink. Oh, I love it. And I have a perfect pen that I wanna put it in. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, that's that one. Let's put the dip pen in. Using my Ferris wheel press, which I can remember the name of it, <laughs> Central Park 
at the greens. There it is. That is beautiful. Love that. Get a close up look here. It's on camera, maybe showing up a little darker than it actually is. Beautiful. Love that. All right. Um, oh my gosh. Here, let me show you this. I just picked up a book. Like I said, I've been away from journaling and everything. And been kind of in a place, you know. I Like I said, a lot going on. But I picked up this book at Target. And look at that. <laughs> the colors, oh my gosh, they're spot on. This book, I'm super excited to take a look at it. It's called Watering the Soul. And it has um, just inspirational quotes and look at this value solidarity look at that um there's some just the artwork is beautiful forgive your mistakes look at that growing a soul i mean this book is just really pretty and i'm going to be using it oh overcoming your fear i love that and I'm going to be using this for some journaling prompts. And yeah, this ink and this book. Oh my gosh, perfection together. <laughs> and I said I wanted, I had a perfect pen picked out for it. And I'm going to be using this Lamy Student pen. I think this one is called Jazz. Oh, I don't know. I'll put the name in there. It's not like it's a brand new pen on the market. It's been around for a while, but... I love it, and I think that's going to be really pretty together. Um, this is in a, what is it in? I think it's a fine nib. Yeah. So I'm going to be inking this Central Park Greens with this pen. So excited for that. All right. Um, let's move on. Normally, I've looked at the website and kind of tried to determine what these colors are going to look like, but I did not do that this time. I just wanted to be surprised. So the next one, this Lights on Broadway, um, obviously that's a pinky purple color. I don't know. Let's take a look at this one and see what it's all about. Ooh, I already love that. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. I love this. <laughs> I've been in the mood for some summer colors and this is beautiful. Um, same thing, I don't see any glitter in this one. Ooh, give it a little shake there. Off camera here, it's a total mess. I'm <laughs> glad you can't see any of that. All right, um, let's go ahead and get this one swatched one of the last videos I did my um, ink went all over the place in my swatch book so I'm trying to be a little more careful all right let's get get a look at this one lights on Broadway Oh, that's really pretty. I'm curious to see how it'll do in the pen. I'll show you the pen. I'm going to put it in in just a second here. Oh, that's beautiful. I may come back and do another video where we look at all the inks in this family that I have. The the pinky kind of lavender. Um, I just think it would be fun to compare them all. I'd wipe off my dip pen here. Yeah, I'm definitely out of the groove, but it's all right. You know, no worries. I haven't spilled anything yet. So this is Fierce Will Press Lights. On Broadway. Oh, 
Oh, that's so pretty. Let's do some little squigglies. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not typically a pink purple person. I do have a few of them, but I don't know, I gotta be in a mood for them. But this one is inspiring me. <laughs> Let's cap this. And I'll show you the pen that I'm gonna use with this one. I'm gonna be using this Ferris Wheel Press fountain pen in this lavender color. This I think this is a really pretty match. I love this. Um, I want to think this is a fine tip. I don't remember. But look at look at look at look at <laughs> look at the design on this with the little Ferris wheel adorable and there we can maybe see what what tip this is so yes love it excited for this one and to get that ink so that's that one and we'll do our last one all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the last ink let me put my glasses back on all right, and this is the Grand Central Skies. And let's take this out of the box here. Move over, guys. Now this one looks like it may be a shimmer ink. Let's pull this out of here and see. I could be wrong. Oh, nope, it's definitely a shimmer. <gasps> So pretty. Grand Central Skies. You can definitely see the shimmer in that. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, I'm excited. So what this means to me is um, I'm still super new to fountain pens and these shimmer inks, I have to watch the kind of pen that I use it with. Um, sometimes I make a good decision, sometimes I don't. And the pen that I choose clogs. So I have to be really careful with which one I pick um, as I'm working with this ink this summer. So let's pop this off and take a look. Hopefully I'm gonna get some of that shimmer in here. Oh wow, I love this. Let's get another layer on here. Hopefully we'll get some good shimmer. Okay. That's pretty. Oh. Decisions, decisions. Which pen will I use? All right, that's neither here nor there right this second. <laughs> let's, let's just go ahead and um, use the dip pen and do a writing test. Okay. Ferris wheel press grand central skies. Yep, hate my handwriting. I always panic and I never leave myself enough room at the end of the page. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, now um, let me pick this up and I'll show you. It's starting to get that glittery, shimmery on here. Hopefully you can see that. And it's in a really pretty silver. And it's really, I really like that. It it does look a little bit darker on camera, but you can definitely see the shimmer in this and it's really pretty. So anyway, um, the pen that I think, now that I've seen that shimmer, I had a couple of different options here. Um, I was thinking about my Sailor, which is, that's pretty too. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Um, or I was thinking about one of my Twisby, but that color's way off. And I think where I'm landing because of the silver is my Caveco um, 
what do they call it? Iridescent, pearlescent? I don't remember the name, it's terrible. But I think because of the silver shimmer and the colors in this pen, I think this would be a really good match for this ink. And I'll, and I'll feel confident with it because I know how the Quebecos react when I use a shimmer glitter ink in them. And I think this will be just fine. So that's the, call, that's the pen that I plan on using in there. All right, well, um, there are the beautiful Ferris wheel press inks and a little bit of a swatch so you can see the colors in these. So beautiful. I'm super excited to use each of them in my journaling. Um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed seeing these quick swatches today. And like I said, I may come back and do maybe a, a comprehensive look comparing some of the different colors, but just to review again, here's Grand Central Skies. I think that's on. Lights on Broadway. And then I think which is my favorite is the Central Park Greens. So here they are. And I'll put the pens beside them I'm gonna use. Let's see if that shows up there. And those are my pen selections to go with each of them. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.